Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to have a review on Shangri-La Sydney. Famous as it is, um, I'm going to ask you three questions before we get started. First, who founded Shangri-La Group? Second, when and where was the very first Shangri-La Hotel open? Third, when was Shangri-La Sydney open? Please leave your answers in the below uh, comment section. If you don't know the answers, that should be alright because you will find answers in my video today. Before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Your support is my biggest motivation. Thank you very much and now let's get started. We're driving to the hotel and it will take us about 15 minutes. Just for your information, it has on-site parking but the parking rate is incredibly high and it may cost about 85 to 105 Australian dollars depending on the size of your car. If you come from the airport, you may take a taxi and it takes about 30 minutes to drive to the hotel from the international airport. During peak hours, it takes about 40 minutes to reach the hotel. You can also take a train to the hotel as its location is quite close to Winia and Sakalaki station, which are about a um, 10 minute walk from the hotel. It's better to get off at Winia station though, as the walk to the hotel is much easier for guests with luggage from this stop. Yeah, this is the Vina station. So from Vina station, it takes about 10 minutes walk to the hotel. Four Seasons Hotel here. Uh, it's quite close to Shangri-La Hotel. If we got any chance in the future, we will have a review on this hotel as well. This is the Shangri-La Hotel. We are not going to park our car inside the hotel because it's too expensive. Instead, we are just parking our car right here. So uh, we are here at Shangri-La Hotel and we are going to check in shortly. And it's very warm inside. They've already turned on the aircon. On the left side, oh, here's the bathroom. Let's have a look. It has a separate shower room. They have the Australian. The shower head is quite low. I am 158. Look at this shower head. A toilet, which is quite normal. Three um, hand towel, two bottles of water. And what we've got here, toothbrush, toothpaste, cotton bath. Shower cap. This is the uh, body lotion and soap bar. And here we have a bathtub as well. Here are some laundry bags. Down here we've got uh, two very fluffy slippers and two bathrobes here. Just a little bit space for storage. Oh my god, guys! Uh, can I uh, show you the room later because the view is incredibly good. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Uh, this is the Dani Harbour view. Alrighty now uh, we're gonna have a room too. There's a little bench down there. Let's see what's inside this door. It's empty. So more space for storage. Then on the left side we got a TV. All the stores, all of them are empty. And we've also got a writing desk here. So on the desk we have this in-room dining menu here. As we can tell the breakfast is $60 per person on weekdays. Available from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. 10 a.m. then $65 per person for the weekends option. A pencil, note, noting pad, telephone and then we got a very comfy sofa right here. I love this sofa. This one is so good. This is a marble. For the charging socket, I think we have the international like standard one and the Australian one. Control panel, the bedside now. Here we are. The bedside Jima. If I open this one, yeah, I can adjust this one. So, what is night light? Hmm, I couldn't feel the difference. If I press this one, this part is arm. Um, 
let's check the door uh, the torch is here this is funny because uh, normally the torch is inside the wardrobe on the left side we have a tiny note from here and it's um it's written in english and chinese control panel on this side as well and a telephone here one is the makeup station uh, it has a beauty mirror here and a small bench here and there are two extra socket for charging so we have our welcome gate one pair one orange and one banana we have a Charlie safe here we've got this uh, little fridge we've got a cocoa black um, chocolate to water margarita river Ooh, instant noodle shink up and we've got uh, some tea bags here sugar we've got uh, some milk oh tea bags here what are those oh those are not tea bags sorry my bad those are coffee jasmine tea I love it. Potato chips. Oh, this looks yum. Chocolate chip. Red wine. Not eat drops. Down here, we got so many glasses here. We've got this kettle. I'm right. They don't have the coffee machine. So that's why they provide uh, this instant coffee coffee powder. Hey guys, beside the TV, um, there are more sections for charging. Well, like you can connect your personal stuff to use this TV as a second screen. Currently at the blue bar, as you may notice, we've got a new spot here. We've ordered the Trusted Chef 5 course uh, tapas. It's uh, $85 per, uh, per person. As you may notice, because at the beginning we were um, we were asked to sit in a little color with a very little sofa. But after we ordered this $85 course, um, they've changed us to a um, window set. Hey guys, this is the tropical bay we've ordered. So it's one of the signature cocktails and it's a bit expensive. It's $28 for just one cocktail. So we just wanna have a try of it. It's time to tell you the answer to the very first question. So the Shangri-La group was founded by Mr. Robert Kwok and he's a Malaysian. He's a very great man. We've booked this hotel via FHR program. I've talked about FHR program in my previous video. If you haven't checked that video yet, please feel free to do so. There are several benefits of booking hotels via FHR program. The first benefit I would say is to, uh, the room upgrade, but it can be subject to the availability for example like today it was super busy and all the rooms are booked out already uh, when we checked in so we didn't get the chance to have our room upgraded the second benefit is early check-in but obviously we came late so we didn't enjoy that benefit third benefit which I think is my favorite because we've got two complimentary breakfast at the attitude last but not the least we've got 100 US dollars uh, credit so we can use it for for the dinner for the drink hi guys a fun thing to share Initially, when we checked in, we've only received one plate of fruits as our welcome gift, which is this one. As a Jade member, we are supposed to receive three options of welcome gifts. So we've chosen fruit, beer, and the complimentary amenities online. After checking in, I've called the service center and um, I told them like we've only received one. We, we should have received three. However, I was advised we can only receive one welcome gift. Five minutes later, they just came and then <laughs> they gave us another plate of fruits as our welcome gift. So we ended up having two plates of fruits today. Morning everyone, now we are going to level 36 for our breakfast. Today we are going to Altitude restaurant. Morning guys, we are on the level 36 and it's a little bit cloudy outside but the view is incredibly good. Here is the Altitude breakfast menu. So we are supposed to select one hot dishes from this menu. They still got some congee right on the side and uh, there are a lot of like bread, cupcake which is amazing some pastries then those are the cereal section and full cream milk oh dim sum 
lover. Here we've got orange juice, water, apple juice, different kinds of yogurt, and some fruits on this side. This uh, cheese, then on this section, you can have your bread toasted in that machine. a large long black as usual oh, that's a uh, already drunk cappuccino then this is chorizo bowl this is the classic australian breakfast i've got myself a pastry as well and this is the green daily Hi guys, we've already checked out Tube Summer. Uh, there are several advantages and disadvantages for staying in this hotel. Uh, I'd like to talk about the advantages first. The number one advantage is also my number one reason for recommendation. It's an unforgettable experience to sit beside the window and watch the sunrise and sunset. I would say it have the best view over the Harbour Bridge and Sydney Opera House. Definitely go and stay with Shangri-La Hotel with your loved one on a special occasion. The second advantage is their food. We went to the brew bar for our dinner. Because it's a bar, we didn't expect the food gonna be uh, super good. However, it was beyond our expectation. The food was amazing. For $85, we've got uh, five courses with a glass of sparkling wine. It definitely was. Uh, I guess there's no catering in blue bars, so they might share the same catering and have the same shape with their altitude restaurant. That would be the reason why the food standard is beyond expectation. The third advantage is, is the location. Shangri-La Hotel is located at the historic the Rocks area. Within walking distance, uh, you can visit Opera House, the Harbour Bridge and the Museum of Contemporary Art etc. Of course, no hotel is perfect, I think. I haven't found any perfect hotel so far. So there are some disadvantages for staying in Shangri-La as well. Shangri-La Hotel Sydney was opened in 2003. The facilities are a little bit old and the design was a little bit out of fashion so I think it would be great if they have them both upgraded. As a loyalty member, my membership status wasn't recognized when I checked in. I even requested the staff to add my membership number to my book. I was advised I couldn't get the points because I booked the, um, the hotel through FHR. It's definitely uncommon because I've booked so many hotels within FHR program and I can also get the extra points. I think there are two possibilities. Don't excel the same loyalty benefits procedures as others. The second one would be that staff wouldn't be joined properly. But I highly doubt the second one because I've called the staff uh, once, once I got into my room and I got the same answer as I was told when I checked in. Last thing I was really unhappy about is the bill I received after checking out. As I mentioned before, I was entitled to have 100 US dollars to apply into the bill but they didn't apply it. No loyalty member benefit and not applying the hundred US dollars credit happened at the same time which is really unprofessional to me. 